Oh, what an adventure! <laughs> Get lost with Google Maps. Good morning, everybody. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous morning. Bit overcast. It's a bit cool, I can tell you that right now. Okay, so we've been having a bit of a chat about putting hot water on to the kitchen sink. And um, Ziggy's already ordered a little hot water unit to go in here. A little eight litre tank. I'll put the um, pictures and the description of it um, in the video. But basically she wanted to know if it was possible. I said, well, anything's possible, dear. So we ordered it. What I have to do uh, for convenience sake is move this gas bottle holder and that's all it is, it just holds the gas bottle. And what I thought I'd do, um, I've got the water pump just, just here, just on the other side of that. So I'll shift this one across to the other side and try and mount it all there and I'll just put the gas bottle there where the old water pump was we put the new water pump there and then I'll just get another aluminium cover made like that there for the water pump so uh, we'll take the input through here um, into the hot because we only need to use the one pump that way um, out through the trailer and bring the hot back in and come back in under the sink. Now we got a a beautiful tap from Bunnings and it is a gorgeous little tap. Okay. Let's have a quick look at this tap. Come out. Alright, here it is. Gorgeous little tap. And it's not much bigger than this one. And it'll fit in here nicely. Okay. And it's a little flick mixer tap. And that should work quite well. Um, an 8 litre tank's a bit of an overkill for this sink. But you can't get a much smaller than that. And we... Um, we didn't want one of those really instantaneous ones because they use too much power. They use, you know, between uh, 3 and 5 or even 7 kilowatt hours I've seen. Um, this other one we're putting in is a 1500 watt element in it. But you can read all that in the um, attached papers. So basically I'm just going to work it all out. Uh, take the sink out again and and uh, fit the tap don't fit the sink in properly yet until uh, the hot water unit actually gets here and then we can work it all out from there I think okay so we had to make the hole just a smidgen bigger because um, the existing tap only had a tiny little hole in it. 
so um, and it's all fitted in let's see how it works now let me turn this up and put the camera down for a second while I dry fit it okay so, and, and yes my wife has been out and approved the positioning of the tap um, we don't want it too far this way because we've got this slide fold out extension that goes on it like that um, I haven't fixed it down yet but basically that's where it's going to be hot that way cold that way that's the sink moving it's actually in there really tight well that's the easy bit done okay this video is going to take a while by the way it'll be in a few parts uh, today I'm just moving stuff around getting gear organized so I know what parts I need to buy what plumbing fittings I need to buy Figgy's got to go in he's having a bit of problems and we think it's a heart so we're gonna go she's going in and get that all checked out and while that's going on I'll continue with the build on the hot water service all right so right, right now I'm going to move the gas bottle over to this side uh, it's holder over here it's probably better on this side actually because it's easy for her to get to uh, and unhook all right enjoy the uh, photos and uh, I'll see you in the next video bye for now